Now, if you are anyone with a vested interest in the future of the Australian aquatic industry, um, we invite you to join this group on Facebook, which is called the Future of the Australian Aquatic Industry. And it is basically here to promote anything that encourages or helps to protect the future of the Australian aquatic industry. So jump on board. Um, we're often doing polls to gauge people's opinions. Um, we encourage people to join the PIAA, which is the Pet Industry Association of Australia. Um, also the AIAA, which is the Aquarium Industry Association of Australia. But basically it's just the perfect place to discuss anything that um, you find may impact the future of the Australian aquatic industry. Now this is not for um, business advertising. This is basically exclusively for any sorts of issues that, um, that the future of the Australian aquatic industry may face. So the more of us that are together and the more aware we are of the various risks that the industry faces, like there's many industry groups, um, sorry, advocate groups that are actually looking to close the industry down. So the more united that we are as an industry and the more aware we are of the various um, threats that the industry has. So you really cannot put your head in the sand anymore and think that um, the pet industry is necessarily safe. The PIAA is having to um, fight all sorts of um, stupid bills that politicians are trying to pass. So um, we recently had to help fight to keep f frozen foods. They wanted to stop a frozen foods. Um, over the time, they've tried to ban cichlids. They've tried to ban guamis. Um, there's all sorts of um, issues going on because ultimately there are well-funded advocacy groups now that um, believe that we should not keep pets or that fish should not be kept in a fish tank. So this group is basically um, a way of us all getting together and discussing anything that can affect the industry. And also um, it's a great sounding board for the PIAA to help get a gauge of what people are after. So anyone with a vested interest in the industry is certainly welcome to join this group. And the way that this group can be very successful is through interaction. So we really encourage you not to just join the group and not get involved. We really want to encourage that you get involved. Have your say and um, put any input in. There's lots of interesting facts that, um, that we also release. For example, the top five reasons why people get fish. That's a very interesting thing to be aware of. What else have we got here? Um, here is the factors influencing why people get pets. Price being a big one, responsibility. Um, these are all good things to look through. Um, what's this for? People that have pets versus people interested in pets. So basically it's saying here that, um, that I'm assuming that's 10% own fish, whereas 17% are interested in owning fish. Which means if that 17% went on to that 10%, we would have a very, very healthy industry. So one thing that we really encourage on this page is that everyone work together as much as possible because um, currently, there is only a very small percentage, let's say between 10 and 12% of the Australian population actually keep fish. So as an industry, we should not be trying to fight over the pieces of the industry. We should be trying to grow the pie. So if we can go from 
you know, 10 or 12% of people that are interested in keeping fish, and then we add on that 17, sorry, that keep fish, and we add on that 17% that are interested in keeping fish, then suddenly we have got a very, very good industry. So all of these brands really need to all be working together to work out why do people not get fish that want fish. Now, I've done some fairly in-depth um, research of, of late and basically believe that the reason why people get don't have aquariums is essentially due to myths. Myth number one is they think it's harder than it is. When you explain to someone what's actually involved, they're actually shocked how easy it is, particularly for a regular, easy to keep aquarium. Um, the other thing is that they think it's far more expensive than it is. Um, so it's really important as an industry that we look at why are people not keeping fish and we need to address those particular issues because um, in general, they're not even true. So our industry could be far more popular just by um, us understanding why it is that people are not keeping fish and particularly for the main reasons that are not actually even true, we need to um, address those issues and we need people to realize that fish are not as expensive as they think they are, and they're not as hard to look after as they think they are. Anyway, join this Facebook group and um, get involved in the industry. Join the PIAA, and um, we've got lots of cool things coming up. We've got joint advertising for things like the pet show which will be done through the PIAA. Um, we've got various other industry events that the PIAA are looking at putting on, um, and as well as all the advocacy that the um, PIAA does in the background. So anyway, join up to the future of the Australian aquatic industry and get amongst it.